Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Now today's video has been a long time coming. You know, a lot of you have asked me questions about this and I honestly struggle with it sometimes myself, believe it or not. But I want to give you all some of my tips and tricks for hiding belly bulge. You know, at 40 and above, we kind of start struggling, especially when you start going through menopause. And you know, she just wreaks havoc on everything, including your flat tummy. So if you'd like to hear some of my favorite tips and tricks and do's and don'ts on how to hide your belly fat or belly bulge, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with a few don'ts. And the first don't is try to stay away from very shiny fabric. Y'all remember those shiny leggings from the 80s? They were just shiny and they were jacked all the way up. That is a big no-no. It's shiny, it's like a beacon of light that says, look here, look at me. Also, my recommendation is not to wear extremely stretchy fabric. When you wear really, really stretchy fabric or body contouring fabric, it just kind of dips in all your rolls and valleys and just sits there and it just accentuates that problem area if that is something you're trying to hide. So instead of wearing really fitted or tight, tight fabric or really shiny fabric, try to stick with natural fabrics like cotton and linen and flowy fabrics that kind of graze your body and not necessarily stick to your body and, and show those places that we really don't want anyone to see or places that we're trying to hide or kind of camouflage. Tip number two is no low rise pants. I know you've all heard me talk about that before, but at low rise pants, unless you're 15, 16, 21, 22 and have the flattest belly and the tiniest waist, they're just not flattering for anyone. So also low rise pants aren't always jeans. They have low rise shorts, they have low rise slacks, just stay away from them all. Also, stay away from pants or slacks or jeans that have pleats in the front. I know you've seen the jeans and they back in the day in the 80s. They had a, almost all the pants had pleats in the front. It just adds a lot more bulk. It brings your attention and adds dimension to your front where you're really not wanting that attention to be. So stay away from the low rise pants, low rise slacks, jeans, what have you, leggings, what art, whatever and stay away from pants or slacks or jeans that have pleating in the front. Go for a flat front pair of slacks and, and they have those in all sizes for everyone. Those sort of slacks are very, very size inclusive. They're gonna be more flattering for your particular body frame and body shape and kind of hide that bulge a little bit more than all those pleats in the front and that low rise. The third no-no, which should go without saying is if you're trying to hide bulge here is to not wear crop tops. It, it's going to stop right there where everybody's going to look right there. It's just going to bring the eye right there, right above the bulge. And so your eyes are going to be right there just right there on it. So no, no crop tops. What you can do is buy tops that have an empire waist, a top that the empire waist usually sits right up, right um, up under your boob. They used to have a band right under there and then kind of flows outward from there. And sometimes it's a peplum type top, sometimes it's a dress, what have you. But empire waist tops are great tops to hide that belly bulge versus wearing a crop top. Tip number four is to avoid multicolored bright um, belts. So when you wear that bright belt or wear that white or y'all hear y'all hear production walking down the steps. You can't hear that. Yes, they can. Oh, <laughs> you were not. Okay, again, tip number four is to avoid multicolored bright, shiny, flashy belts if you're trying to hide that bulge. Because again, that's gonna draw the eye in, the multicolored layers, and it's, I mean, it's very fun to look at, but if that's not the area you're wanting everyone to look at, or that's not the area you want to draw attention to, I would refrain from wearing those sort of things. Instead, stick to wider belts of very, very flattering, and darker colors, like a darker camel, a black, a brown, a maroon, those sort of, a uh, uh, burlot, Mer Berlo, or Merlot, those sort of colors. They look amazing on dresses and it tends to draw the focus elsewhere other than your waistline or your belly bulge. Tip number five is a do. Tip number five is purchase high waist jeans and slacks. Now you don't necessarily have to 
Now you don't necessarily have to purchase skinny jeans, although I still do. I still love them. I'll probably always will or skinny slacks. But as long as it's a high waist, it gives you more support in your belly area and it doesn't draw the eye here. Like it draws the eye to where the, the waist stops and it's usually well above your belly button, belly button, <laughs> well above your belly button, kind of camouflaging your, your problem area here. You can be, that can be high waist leggings. It can be high waist slacks, high waist jeans, whether it's straight or skinny, but high waist jeans are very, very flattering and very, um, effective and efficient at hiding that belly bulge. Tip number six is wearing monochromatic looks, whether that be a bright color or a dark color or stripes, what have you, but a monochromatic look just kind of brings your eye completely down to your entire body. There's no area that it's focused on. It's just one long line picture and just makes you look very elongated and very, very sleek and just very elegant. So monochrom, Monochromatic looks are great for every body shape, every body. It just, it just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful look. Sometimes it's hard to pull off unless it's all black, which you know you can buy black, and black is black as black as black. But all the other colors don't necessarily pair together. But what you can do if there are shades, like if you have creams and beiges and browns, those colors will work well together as well as a semi monochromatic look, but those colors look good as well. Just remember to pair it with a purpose. And if you're gonna wear colors within the same color family, try to wear your darker tone in your slacks or your shirt if it's gonna cover your belly area. And that way that's camouflaged as well. So a monochromatic look is a great way to hide your belly bulge. Tip number seven is to purchase peplum tops. Now they're not always the most trending item, but I personally love them. I have several of them in my wardrobe. This is a peplum top I'll show you here on the side how they're just perfect for hiding the belly bulge. They hit right at the natural waist and you, most of the time they have a little ruffle and they're just perfect. You can just, if you're feeling a little bloated or just that time of the month or you're just kind of not feeling it that day, you just don't want to wear something form fitting, you just want something that's gonna graze and just kind of a nice, elevated outfit, but you just want to be comfortable and not worry about your belly or your bulge. A peplum top is perfect. It's perfect. It hits right there where it's supposed to hit and the ruffles kind of hide that problem area very, very well. Tip number eight is to wear off the shoulder, bellowy or free flowing fabric type tops or dresses. Those are perfect. You know, it, it brings the attention to your shoulders and your neck in which everyone has great shoulders and necks. I mean, that's pretty much the very, very last thing that goes is what with well, sometimes your legs, but your shoulders always look great. And it just draws that attention here. And especially if you have a bellowy or, or nice flowy fabric, it just kind of grazes your body. It doesn't stick to your belly or it doesn't stick to your hips. And it's just free flowing and looks very cool and just beautiful and just hides pretty much everything. But it's just a great wardrobe piece. So if, you, if you're able to purchase those, and sometimes uh, some ladies may not feel comfortable that, with that, but if you have very, very slim shoulders, you want to situate your shoulders rather than have your dress completely off your shoulders. You can just have it like right on the tip of your shoulders and add some extra bulk, like a, a puffy shoulder detail that'll draw your eye to the shoulder and also to your neck. And that helps balance out your body as well and kind of hides that belly as well. So off the shoulder tops and off the shoulder dresses are perfect. Flowy fabric though, no clingy, clean, no fabric that's very, very clingy. You can do cotton, you can do some ruching fabric, but as long as it's not a very, very clingy fabric, it will look great and work well for hiding your belly bulge. Tip number nine is purchasing dresses and tops with ruching. You know, I'm sure you've all heard this before, but it just really works really well to camouflage everything in here. Not only dresses and tops, bathing suits. If you saw my last video with the yellow bathing suit, it had a lot of ruching in the front, which the color was beautiful, but I love that part about the bathing suit. It just hides the, if you're having just a little problem with that area that day, it's just perfect. Whether the ruching goes down and around or whether it's just in the front, it even, you can get some, um, a more form fitting fabric and that ruching still helps to hide that bulge a great, great deal. So ruching is always, always going to be your friend. And last but not least, if you're really struggling with your belly bulge and you just not feeling comfortable with it, 
purchase you some shapewear, honey. Listen, you can get shapewear. You can buy skims. You can buy spanks. They have apparently have really, really great spank wear. Um, spank wear. Apparently, they have really, really great shapewear at Target now. I'm going to get me a pair as soon as I get home. And most of the, the ones they have at Target, they call them fajas or not just the ones they have at Target, but the shapewear that comes like a pair of biker shorts, but has the like suspender type things that goes over your shoulders and it goes under your bra. And I, they're called fajas. I don't know why. I'm sure that F F A H A stands for something. You can buy those. You can buy, buy the support high waisted brief. You can buy a high waisted panty. You can buy uh, a camisoles. Use the shape where camisoles are longer, so they cover your belly and go all the way down to the top of your back. And so those are really nice. And they have different stretches in them. So if you just want something that you can wear on a daily basis, or you want something with a lot of stretch you want to wear for a, a, a special occasion or what have you shapewear is your friend some people don't like the shapewear i personally love shapewear i have no problem with it but if that's something that you can put on and it's going to make you feel more confident and make you feel more secure purchase your shapewear ma'am whatever whatever it takes to make you feel better and make you feel confident and comfortable do you purchase the shapewear so and I mean that back in the day they used to be very very expensive all they had was corsets and they cost hundreds of dollars but now you can get great shapewear on Amazon you can get it from any place so purchase you some shapewear don't be afraid go ahead and do it well that's it family I really really hope you enjoyed my video I will try to find some of the items that I've discussed in the video and put some links in the description box below so look there if you're looking for some inspiration or um, items that I've kind of I'm sorry so look there if you're looking for any items that um, you might want to try out for yourself again before I leave now if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would greatly greatly appreciate you becoming a part of the Angela Michelle YouTube family just go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and if you like to be notified twice weekly when we upload videos you can hit the notification bell and then you get an email notifying you that my videos have uploaded again thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me I greatly appreciate it and I want you to have a blessed blessed day bye bye